We can handle any business that we need to take care of. Senior Airman Colin Murphy operates an excavator for his team during the Rapid Airfield Damage Recovery Competition as part of Readiness Challenge. We have a bunch of competitions going on between three different bases, one from Charleston, one from Herbert Field, and us from Dias Air Force Base. 28 competitions to be exact. Readiness Challenge is an Air Force Civil Engineer contest that tests and evaluates war-winning skills, techniques, and procedures. I think competition is a good aspect when it comes to work because it pushes everyone to do better, to work harder, and to go faster, go faster. But also keeping everybody safe as we do it. Yeah, it's about competition, but it's also about honing and exercising those wartime skills and capabilities and helping us identify if there's any training gaps associated with those wartime tasks. The first readiness challenge was held in 1986 at Eglin Air Force Base but moved to Tyndall Air Force Base's Silver Flag Exercise site until it was last held in the year 2000. After a 19-year hiatus, CE leaders are knocking the rust off the event with this week-long three-team beta test to prepare for a full-fledged reinstatement which will showcase eight teams in the fall of 2020. This event is, is perfect timing with the direction from our leadership up at Air Staff and to reinvigorate that readiness mindset. And this gives us the opportunity to engage directly with the units, the Silver Flag cadre, and give them a, an opportunity to come and showcase their capabilities and what they can bring to the fight. The teams have excelled, um, which is, you know, true to the training they've received, as well as them planning at home station. What well, we bring back, the feedback, the work, hopefully can affect the future of the Air Force. For the Air Force Installation and Mission Support Center, I'm Brian Godden.